हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू वाओ आई एस एडिटोरियल सीरीज टूडेज टॉपिक इज अ बजट ब्लू प्रिंट फॉर डिफिकल्ट टाइम्स विच हैज़ बीन ऑथर्ड बाई फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह एंड फॉर्मर फिनांस मिनिस्टर मिस्टर पी चिदम्बरम द बैकग्राउंड इज रिलेटेड टू हाउ कोविड हैज इम्पैक्टेड आवर इकोनॉमी इट इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू हाउ बजट कैन रिड्यूज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ कोविड ऑन आवर इकोनॉमी सो वॉट इज बजट बजट इज एन एनुअल फिनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट विच इज प्रजेंटेड इन द पार्लियामेंट आर्टिकल वन वन टू ऑफ आवर कंस्टिट्यूशन मैंशंस अबाउट द एनुअल फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट बट इट डज नॉट मैंशंस बजट so what has been the impact of covid on our economy covid has led to rise in inequality to alarming proportions falling health care along with border tensions has also led to a very adverse impact on our economy the pandemic has not only widened the inequality but also has wreaked havoc on people's lives and livelihoods some opportunities have been missed by our government a better planned lockdown could have reduced the deep distress planned lockdown how the country failed its migrant workers the life blood of its economy the lockdown was announced without slightest plan about what to do about the poor and the homeless and the migrant labor why didn't the government think of them when it was first announced we have seen thousands of people returning to their natives such scenes are one of the worst misery ever seen or witnessed by the world migrant labor problem has taken a gigantic toll on the economy if lakhs of industries remain closed due to shortage of labor india has to face economic disaster like never before it would have been responsible and generous fiscal aid package which could have soothed millions in this moment of distress moving forward here a paradoxical condition of haves and haves not is seen the wealth of india's richest 1% is more than 4 times of total for 70% of poorest of india's population as per oxfam's india's report see the pictures here what do you see mumbai slums with rising skyscrapers people in delhi sleeping outside metro premises even on railway tracks so in mains 2020 there was a question almost in paper 1 paper 2 paper 3 all three papers we had a question on covid this year in paper 1 we can see that this aspect has been acknowledged by upsc dimensions of inequality see covid 19 pandemic accelerated class inequalities and poverty in india comment for how many marks for 10 marks it has been asked by upsc coming next we see the role of mg narega in fighting covid's impact on our economy mg narega proved to be the only safety net for hundreds of millions of the migrant laborers 120 million people had asked for work under mg narega so this was the highest in the history of the program such continued high demand for mg narega at subsistence wages mind it subsistence wages only is a clear sign that there is no true economic recovery in india as of now india's stock market indices are at highest levels ever see the inequality at one side people are getting the subsistence wages through mg narega at the other side the top 50 companies increased their market wealth by nearly 3 lakh crore so it can be seen that the benefits of such rising stock markets rising stock markets 
has been accrued only to some of the people only few people have got the benefits while the majority of the people are just having the subsistence wages at their disposal so this marks one of the worst phases of economic disparity between the rich and the poor so we are coming to the threats and weaknesses so rising inflation will cause rbi to tighten interest rates that is tighter monetary policy would be a norm for rbi it again would carry the risk of slowing down private investment that is private investment would be slowing down so again it would be having a consequential effect on the jobs jobs would decrease homelessness again would increase so here people would be having a lack of basic minimum income safety net that means all these things are correlated so this has to be dealt by our government 12 million adult indians have been dropped out of labor force india's demographic profile there should have been a net addition to the labor force given the three d's which india is facing right now that is democracy demographic dividend dividend and demand this is the reason why fdi is also soaring in india however recent impact of covid has also caused unemployment and see the issue of government initiatives here the government's corporate tax cuts loan moratoriums credit schemes have helped corporates to boost their profits and reduce their debt the worst part is that they have hardly been used to make new investments or create jobs further there has been controversial farm laws with no consultation or discussions before putting up such laws agriculture has also been wrecked right now with rising anger among fam- farmers confusion am- over farm produce procurement doubts over the continuation of msp and a loss of trust between farmers and the government see the no- non negotiable part is there that means some features which are so vital that we do not go for any negotiation of such imperatives covid 19 pandemic it has exposed multiple lacune in india's public health infrastructure so india's public health infrastructure has been overburdened with the covid 19 case see here one related question was asked by upsc again this year this time in paper 2 for 10 marks what was the question the question was critically examine the role of who in providing global health security during the covid 19 pandemic so this was the second question asked by upsc in paper 2 related to covid so now nothing is more important than increasing health care expenditure okay health care expenditure has to be ramped up okay the expenditure should be translated to health infrastructure as well next the budget has to increase now the current levels are approx 70000 crores which is equivalent to around 2% of total expenditure in 2021 means this fiscal year now it has to be raised to around 1 lakh crore rupees 1 lakh crore it has to be increased to that level uh, here's border issue okay it is again a non negotiable issue uh, we have heard about the chinese village being situated near arunachal and a hamlet was discovered Uh, by the indian forces and indian media that chinese have built a, a newly constructed village near arunachal so it has to be taken in utmost seriousness in fact india must immediately shore up its defense preparedness and be ready to defend its border the government must increase defense expenditure from current level of 1.6% of nominal gdp to around 3% of nominal gdp
also the public investment has to step up it has to be done so as to lift the economy from its current dismal state the capital expenditure must be increased uh, to the level of around 20 to 25 percent of our gdp again jobs have to be created to reap the demographic dividend as discussed earlier in the lecture there is an immediate need for basic income safety why because an unconditional monthly cash transfer to the needier segments of the population will not only be an efficient way to relieve their miseries but would also boost the infrastructure creation again mains to 2020 had another question related to covid so all total around four questions four direct questions have been asked in relation to covid this was again in the paper 3 hmm, upsc site paper 3 the question was explain the rationale behind the goods and services tax compensation to states act 2017 how has COVID-19 impacted the GST compensation fund and created new federal tensions? See, this is again related to economy as well as COVID. We can relate this topic with the editorial which we are already studying right now. Uh, next question was also in paper 3. This was also a 15 marker. So we can see that 50 marks, directly 50 marks were asked in 1000 marks of GS paper. The topic of COVID itself. The question was COVID-19 pandemic has caused unprecedented devastation worldwide. Unprecedented devastation worldwide. However, technological advancements are being availed readily to win over the crisis. Give an account of how technology was sought to aid management of the pandemic. So this is the end of this lecture. Thank you for staying with us. And for more study material, you can join our telegram channel at the rate wow is here. You can avail the uh, summary to vision is test series vision is pt 365 mains 365. Thank you so much.